everyone, welcome to another meeting here at Your Bilingual Space Connected, a 30-minute space we use to celebrate amazing human beings that one way or another are doing something to improve their lives and the lives of the ones around them. I am Fabiana Espinosa and I am guiding you through today's journey from Santa Cruz, Bolivia in South America. I'd like to remind you that you do not only see us through the Abby Ayala channel, but you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and later on, when the show is over, on our YouTube channel. celebrate the life of a woman that has been making a difference in several people's lives. She is a true example of perseverance, focus and determination. Veronica Sosa doesn't only work every day to improve herself, but she also works really hard to inform, train and accompany others on their path. Today she is connecting with us from Belgium in Europe. Before we learn about Veronica's work and projects, let's meet her. Veronica Sosa is the foundress of Business Fit International and Business Fit Magazine, founder of SHE, Seminar for Hispanic Entrepreneurs in Europe, author, international speaker award winner, TV personality and business expert. Born in Venezuela, Veronica is the eldest of four siblings. At age 18, she traveled to study English in the US and at 25, she moved to the Canary Islands. When she found herself in a serious relationship, she decided it was time for change and take a more stable job. Starting as a secretary in an English advertising company, within six months she was heading up the business, having found her ability to lead. In 2008, her daughter Laura was born. Veronica still considers this as the most beautiful thing which has ever happened to her. Now, with 18 years of experience working in the editorial and corporate sectors as a manager, she is dedicated to empowering women towards better lives and rediscovering themselves. Her road to self-growth and discovery led her to become an expert in relational capital and Veronica gives conferences around the world in countries like South Africa, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland, Spain, Holland, France, Cyprus, and North America. It is my pleasure today to introduce Veronica Sosa. Veronica, I am so thankful and happy to have you here today. I appreciate the time you are taking to be with us and sharing your stories. You are talking to us all the way, all the way from Belgium in Europe. Uh, your path is really brilliant, the, your story and everything you have achieved. So I really want to go straight to the first question. Please tell us about your project, Business Fit. What is it all about? How did it all start? It? Hello, Fabi. Thank you for having me here. And yes, of course, let's go straight to the point, like should be. Uh, well, Business Fit. Business Fit is a project that was born three years ago. It's, um, uh, daughter of uh, Business Fit International is called my my academy for entrepreneurs. And what is Business Fit? Business Fit magazine is uh, the platform to expose uh, women's brand. You know, uh, it in three pillars: mindset, body, spirituality. And with this trio, we create what it is uh, called business with purpose. So I have created this because I've been working my last uh, 15 years uh, in the uh, publicity sector, the editorial sector. So I'm really, really pleased to do it because I, it's what I love, you know. So it got me to, to, more, to know more women around the world that are creating amazing, amazing work. 
I see. And then, well, your next, actually my next question, it's about uh, the Hispanic entrepreneurs. And here we're talking about also only about women, correct? Yes, yes. So tell us how they, how from Project Business Fit you went to uh, entrep Hispanic entrepreneurs. Also, how did all this project started and how is it doing today? Well, actually, uh, you know, I, I, I am a creative mind. I am like the, the right brain chaos woman who wants to do many things. I don't know if you have, if you related to that, uh, but I am that woman. I needed to work all my life to, to, to work more to the, uh, you know, the left brain part and get the structure and get the, the steps made, etc. But I am really right brain and I want to create all the time, you know? Work there is people who work with me say, Veronica, calm down, just let's focus on this first and then the other one. And this is what I teach too, to the people who are creative and, and want to just have many ideas. I do have many ideas. So I started five years ago to because of a, of a huge pain that I have in my, in my soul, you know, in my, in my life. You know, I was born in Venezuela, and when I was 24 years old, I moved to Spain, Gran Canaria. And I lived there uh, 10 years, beautiful time of my life. I grew up there in a way, even though I was 24 and you expect to be a grown up when you're 24, obviously. <laughs> no. I, I was not, <laughs> okay? I, I was not. And I think I'm not a grown up yet. I, I, I probably suffer from Peter Pan syndrome, honestly, because my child is always, you know, playing. But uh, yes, I went, uh, I came to Belgium um, after living in Gran Canaria for 10 years more or less. I moved to Belgium in 2011. And when I moved here, it was a really, really shock. A shock because I couldn't find myself. You know, I built up my life in Gran Canaria and I start really small. And, and, and as an entrepreneur, I built up my career. So I fell in a position to, 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 that's it, this is life, you know, I, I have it all. But we moved because I had a daughter in 2008, sorry, and she was two years old. So we thought about uh, moving here because it was better and uh, maybe more opportunities for her and to learn another language, etc. We thought about that, even though that Canaria is I, I, I think my second land, or my, yes, my country in a way, my island in a way, Spain. Um, you know, uh, when I came here, it was really frustrating not to know the language, not to, you, to suffer about the, the weather. It was so cold for me. Um, the culture, the people, um, it was different. It was different, and I didn't have the tools that I, nowadays I have to deal with it. So I, I spent more or less two years trying to find myself because I was in it under a depression. And don't get me wrong, depression is a really big word, but I was depressed. I was depressed because I, I, I didn't want to make an effort to learn, to integrate, to do something because I, I didn't know the tools, I didn't know how to do it. So one time I went to these seminars for personal development, which for me was like a, you know, a changeover. You know, I it was like it opened literally my eyes, my soul, my everything to just a new world. You know, the Veronica that it was, I thought it was gone or dead. You know, came back and so several opportunities in, in the chaos that I was living in. So that's why since then I started to become the Veronica that is now with me, you know? So I start my change, I start my getting out of depression, looking after myself and seeing how women, with all the responsibilities that we could have, how we come to a country with a career and then we have to start all over again without being there, obviously, or be, without complaining, or even though that it's really hard to do the change, 
because sometimes we move because we are in love. You know, there's many, many Latin Americans or Hispano, uh, 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 I was going to say Hispano land in Spanish, sorry, uh, here living in Europe, you know, in Central Europe. And uh, yeah, they move because of love. And when they are here, they find another reality. And it's not that they are not in love anymore, but it's something different. The culture, everything, the weather, the, the everything, everything is guided by agendas. And that is not even in, in our countries like that. So she and Business Feed has started in that uh, moment. When I started seeing like the light in the tunnel, I could refer to that because it was so like that. So she started with a group of, of friends uh, five years ago because we started going to this personal development. We were like, a, oh, I love the feeling when we come out of these places, you know, we learn so much. And it's something that we need to do to invest in ourselves to grow, you know, in order to grow. But we realized in that time that the, all the personal developments were in English as we are speaking in English now. So we were like, right. why? Why Why there is no here, you know, uh, this conference is in Spanish, so we can get it, you know, in our, uh, in our rhythm, in our language, in our style. So we thought, let's create one. So that's how it started uh, in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. And since then, it's been developed into what it is now, you know? Now, it's a platform that provides visibility, sorry, visibility to, to all or every single woman who wants to scream out loud their business, their passion, their, uh, their gift to the world, you know? So I have had the opportunity to have people, amazing people with us, as Ismael Kala, Viola Edward, uh, Jacqueline Camacho. Uh, well, uh, it wouldn't be fair if I start it and aiming and then I forget right. one because then they're gonna kill me. <laughs> but yes, I've I, I been, I had such amazing people, no? Not only big names, but those big names uh, grabbed by the hand, the, who's starting and that's the, the the amazing thing of she you know it's no difference about you know the egos or anything no it is it is about being one in the same place so for me it is it is amazing so veronica it's really a long path the one of yours because from venezuela you went to the islands in spain you started over there and from there you moved to Belgium and you started over again. So right now you have like how many years in Belgium already? Well, if I'm counting good, uh, it will be eight years. Eight years. And out of like, let's say the new daughters and sons of these, it's she and also the other, uh, your other project, the business feat, correct? Yes. So tell me, on she, you bring the seminar and you bring all of these people to talk about. What are what do they talk about? Well, we we have a form, so people, you know, we have an academy, and the people who we, we coach, they have the possibility to participate as well. The people who's not in the academy, they can participate as well, sending emails to us to to do the, the petition to do it. Okay, so we we have to know we we, we cover several um, pillars in life like mindset, body, spirituality. That is the higher connection uh, as well. Finance that is really important. Um, for example, legal aspect of uh, creating a business that's huge important as well. Because believe me, I have been having some issues with all, you know, learning, okay? So in the process, it's good that you know how to create the right mindset to create your business, then how to take care of your body to create the energy to have to work and be a mother. Perfect. Then the spirituality is obviously to be connected to the higher source of, of, of what is all the environment, the Mother Earth and everything that is is, is God, if you want to call it that like that, without mentioning any religion, just the source of every creation and being connected with that. And then, of course, 
business with purpose, what? Marketing and branding, finance, legally stuff, you know, um, what else we can have? We have an experience as well there where you can practice about breath work, how to manage your breathing, how to connect with your um, meditation. Uh, so we, we get this, it's a full day immersed in many things to just go out of she like a superwoman that you want to just, you know, do everything. But what we do is to do that day, you know, it's one day, and then we have created the she circle, like a club that is held in every country in a city where uh, we gather several women every to keep the, that energy moving. So tell me, moving on to the next questions. Based on your path, I feel like you are a pro and you are very good at building relations and maintaining people um, inspired and active. So tell me, how, what's it for, from, for you, what is the importance of having these relationships with people? As I was speaking to you yesterday, I told you that uh, if I've seen further, it's because I've been uh, sitting in the shoulders of giants. And this is a phrase of Isaac Newton. And this is this is like for me the main phrase of my build my business as well because relationship capital or relational capital is as important as putting money in the bank. You know, there is no call so sales now. There is just relationships. You know, when you sell a product, you have to care about what you're selling to the people that you're selling. So if you don't make the connection now, then they don't want to. They, they don't want to buy it. So it's not just about uh, calling and giving. Well, I have this product A, B, C, D. I'm describing the product, and then you're gonna sell it like before. If you want to like a wash your machine, then you just go and just see what you need in and and that's it no what you expect nowadays to the connection the higher connection with people not just only for the self but to do the joint ventures and these relational or oh, these connections have to be based on real values which today is really important to remember so relational capital is based about our values what we think about each other and where are we going to. There is a win-win situation here. There is not just myself winning and you are like, oh, no, it's a win-win situation, even though there is people that say, yes, but that's not possible. Well, we are working on that to create it. And I've been working on that uh, since the last years of my life to create proper relationship with my customers and with my um, partners, I mean, my business partners, I collaborate with women from Cyprus, Viola Edward, from Jacqueline Camacho, for example, she's in Chicago, and we are launching now um, a book in here in Europe, the Today Inspire Latina. So there's many things that we do through collaboration, no competition, which is helping us to reach more parts. You know, now everything is global. So Correct. it's really important to, to, to do this. And I've been working on that since, uh, uh, you know, for me, it's really, really easy to connect, even though that I'm, you know, it's not that everybody loves me, obviously, but uh, <laughs> maybe, no, I'm joking. <laughs> but even though I, I work hard, um, when I say hard, I, I commit to that, to, to uh, a connection from the soul, you know, and that's important. So if you're my client, I want you to succeed because when you succeed, then it's my, my success. So that's really important. And that's that is a great that's message. That's something that my first coach taught me, Jakey Fox, who was one of my coaches five years ago when I started. And he said, who you surround with is who you become. That's really important. So be careful about that. And your success is my success. And, and it's true, because if you have testimonials that say, yes, Veronica Sosa is good, it's different that I said, I am really good, you know? So you try and you work hard to do and to please your 
your customers, your partners, always as a win-win situation. Both sides. Yes. That's a great, great, great lesson and also a great advice. Veronica, we're gonna go to a fast cut. We'll be right back. Please hold. People of home, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back and thank you for remaining connected. We are still connected with Veronica Sosa, who is talking to us all the way from Belgium in Europe. Veronica, I'm so happy to hear and to just absorb all of your knowledge. Thank you so much for the time you took to spend with us today. Unfortunately, and as always, we're running out of time and I have the last question for you, which is actually, I think, also very important. I really want to ask you, how do you maintain yourself inspired? Have you have an experience in particular you would like to share? Because this is a thing that, like you said, sometimes we go to a seminar or we read a book or we listen to an interview and we get like all excited, but then maybe two hours later or next day or a week later, you know, your energy goes away or you receive bad news or whatever, anything can happen. So how do you, what do you do that keeps you up bit and doing all of the stuff that you've been doing all of these years? That's a, that's a good question because uh, people think sometimes that, um, that some other people that are ahead of us, they are happier than us in a way, and it is, or they are, but as well they suffer from bad situations, okay? So it's not that they are having just the dream uh, come true and they never will have any problem whatsoever. No, it's not true. We have a lot of challenges. I mean, while your challenges mean while you're challenging yourself, you're forcing yourself to grow. And that's really important. So what we have to do is just to face that life is a roller coaster. We are emotional beings. We need to face that. It's not that you just cut and say, okay, I'm gonna be happy all the time, and then you're just positive, so positive, positive. No, because that's not the way life is. We have the light or bright side, and we have the shadow or dark side. So we have it. So yes, we're human, we suffer, we cry, we want to say a really bad word sometimes. But the perfect thing is, or the thing that was going to help us, women and men, it's just to be aware who we are. If we know who we are, what we want in life, which is really difficult, okay? Because we're always pleasing yes. everybody and someone else. But when you do what you like, you are you please who you are. When you know your why, when you know why you're doing what you're doing, then things start to change. So for me to be inspired, it takes me a while, yes, but for me to do what I do keeps me alive, keeps me with wanting more. And sometimes, of course, I don't want to work and I'm just fed up, I just stop working and I don't do it. So for that, you have to have a balance in life, which is people's gonna say, yeah, balance, whatever, you come and do this job. You have to have a balance, yes, you have to. You know why? Because I work a lot. It's not something that I just created because I did like this. No, I have, no. I have uh, you know, taking courses, taking classes, paying mentorship, uh, flying abroad away from my daughter many times. But I take care of my daughter too. I take her to classes too. I study with her. I go to the to the park with her too. So we have a, a, a family that we need to take her. So there's several parts if we are ordered. And believe me, it costs me a lot because I'm right brain, remember? So if we have order and an agenda to just fill up all our life, then the things is gonna be easier. So for you to keep going, or to feel inspi you know, inspired to keep moving, is just to know your why, why you're doing this. When you're down, when you're feeling like, you know, then, <laughs> yes, you, know. Say, then you will say, why am I doing this? And then all the energy will come back. So if the energy doesn't come back, is because you're not doing it for the good reason. You are just, just doing it for to please other people. So that's why it's really important to know who you are. You change your life just if you have or you do something. You take action. If you take action and you are committed to it, you know your why, 
then things start changing. That's the only way. Right, and it takes time and it's okay. <laughs> because sometimes you get frustrated, people are so used to, to like, I just did this, why is it, why I don't have my result, where is it? Correct? Well, actually, uh, good things takes time to, to be made. So everything, everything takes time. So, and your own time. You cannot compare yourself to anybody else. It's your choice, your, you are the one who are creating that and every good creation takes time. That is great. I agree with everything you have said and I am very, very, very thankful for all of the tips and all of your knowledge. Veronica, thank you so much. I will leave you a moment so you can uh, speak to the audience and also share your social media information. Go ahead. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. And yes, keep going, keep moving. Don't listen to the noise around you. Just focus on this uh, power that you have within. Uh, listen to yourself. And yes, and help others. That's the, the most important thing, help others, because the world needs it. So thank you very much for having me, yeah. Thank you, Veronica. A big kiss until Belgium, and until next time with me, always be well. Thank you, bye-bye. So as you know, if you like to know more about Veronica Sosa's work, just follow her on her social media. Listening to Veronica's projects and work inspires me. Remember that there are two ways to participate on this type of work. You either are the one that is looking for guidance and support, or you are the one that provides this to you. Whatever the case is, make sure to be proactive and to always share whatever knowledge you may have. I will come back in a week with a new topic and a new friend. Nominate a person you love, you admire, or somebody you would like to support by writing me an email to conectadosbolivia24 at gmail.com. Let's get in touch and let the world know about them. Stay connected and until next time with me, goodbye.